cool kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no no. What is up guys? Shona the King here, back with another video, and today I wanted to do a uh, spur of the moment review. I honestly wasn't going to review this, but uh, once I actually opened it up and started playing around with it, I was so impressed that I decided to just go ahead and do a review for it. And we are looking at the V Toys Death Knight, which is in a 112 square, 112 scale uh, action figure. Again, um, full disclosure, I have no idea who Death Knight is. I know it's some sort of alternate version of Batman. I simply bought this on a whim because the figure looks so cool and the accessories and I was just like I have to have it so I bought it I opened it up and I have fallen in love with it so again I want you guys to fall in love with it as well so let's take a look at the figure so uh, again just let's talk about the material that the um is made out of again this is a six inch scale figure he is made of a soft plastic but still pretty durable uh the best way i can explain to you guys if you collect uh storm collectibles they all have like some sort of soft like plastic goods and that's the most that it feel it, that it feels like you can tell that it is a hard plastic like it doesn't go in like storm collectibles but it still has that outer layer feel of plastic like you can see here on the on the shoulder pads that is like more of a softer plastic versus the chest and the arms and the legs which are made out of a more of a more metallic like heavy plastic uh, on the back here is a magnet we'll talk about that in a few minutes but again I just want you guys to just take a look at this figure and take a look at the detail in the skull like again it's like this grizzled like mass the red is like a crimson blood red and here on the shoulder pads again we have the crimson blood red it is a fantastic figure now one thing that i actually do like about this is that again when you're looking at the articulation take a look at the shoulder pads and you're like how is this thing going to get into like a t-spread well the shoulder pads actually comes off because they're actually glued on here and i said they're actually uh metallic so again you kind of put it up close to it it can go on that way it can go on this way it's meant to move with the figure and there's a reason for that because it also comes with a cape in order to put the cape on you simply just cape is bendy wire and you just simply put it across his shoulders like so you can kind of pull the hood back and then you just take the metallic piece and boom so if you want to have them like one-handed and then if you want to do both you can do that and it just goes on and then you have a caped batman death knight i shouldn't call him batman it's not batman it's death knight now, what does this thing come with? It comes with a plethora of accessories. Like, this thing comes with everything. It comes with alternate heads. Two, actually. One is... And actually, I'll show you guys how these look. For one is another... This is like his battle mask with a screaming face. Again, the attention to detail in the teeth, the crimson red eyes, the horns on the helmet. I mean, this thing looks amazing. And he also comes with a skull. Because he's almost like the Grim Reaper of Death. And again, I love the like charred look to the to the skull. You can just look into like the blackness of the eyes and the nose. It looks fantastic. He also comes with multiple pairs of hands. And he comes with like a special battering as you can see here like a death battering now let's talk about the weapons so before we get to the weapons he actually also comes with a lantern so actually i take that back i thought this was a battering but actually it is a hook to hold his lantern so you can see that And that's, that's really cool. Only thing that would have made this better is if it's lit up. So he comes with a lantern. He comes with a sword, as you can see here. The sword meets the motif. It has a little bit of gold. 
the crimson red, the chipped on the sides. This actually rem reminds me of the weapons that came with the Ares from Storm Collectibles, the same kind of detail. Absolutely amazing. He also comes with a Grim Reaper scythe, and this thing is actually ginormous. Let's see if I can get it all in focus. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. It's amazing. And he comes with a double. It's almost like this looks like a Soul Caliber. This looks like the Soul Caliber from Soul Caliber game. It was held by Nightmare. And this actually has a cool feature, and this is the only weapon that does it. But the, remember when I showed you guys the metal piece on his back? You actually just take this and and you can stick it to his back, and it automatically sticks there by the magnet. So then now, turn to the front, and it's Death Knight with his sword. Look at that. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so let's take this off so we can change out the heads so you guys can see what the different head looks like. And I've not done this yet, so let's see how hard it comes off. Comes off fairly easy, no big deal. So first off, let's get this one. See if it goes on as easy as it came off. Be careful with this thing is pointy one second all right we're back so uh it was a little tough getting the head on um i had to warm up the ball peg warm up the hole in the head it's a brand new figure so that's kind of to be expected but i still like how it looks this is him with his uh war mask on head movement is great you get the full down look rotation not so much the up but you get a little bit of left to right it's not bad see this and let's get the cape on it so you guys can see what he looks like with the cape there all right take that off and then we need to pop him off and again like I said be careful with this because that one is sharp. And then let's see if we have as much problems with, and I probably will. All right, and we're back with the skull mask on. And actually, next to the original face, the skull mask is my favorite. I can definitely see myself taking some like really demonic shots, like getting some, trying to work on my lighting uh, to get some like really like Grim Reaper-ish looks to it. I love how this is the perfect helmet for like the cloak so if you kind of want to like pull it down you can kind of see like the shadows and everything it, it looks really good but if you don't want to do it that way because it's on the bendy wire you can also do it where that the cloak is down and you know he looks like that looks great um overall uh i love this figure i'm so glad i bought it uh we're gonna do some size comparisons and then we'll get out of here all right, guys, we're back with a size comparison. And I thought, who better to bring in and then the seven inch scale spawn, well, six inch scale spawn from McFarland Toys uh, right next to the Death Knight. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to do is uh, talk about one of my negatives, which is the joints. Um, uh, the, the piece itself is very nice, but getting this hand on took me almost 10 minutes. And I had to heat this some bitch up some, and it still did not go on as easy as I thought it would. But I finally got it on. But so be very careful. You don't want to break this thing. You don't want to heat it up too much. But I also forgot that I wanted to talk about the articulation. So with the pads off, you know, we can do a full T spread here. Rotate bicep, double jointed knee. I mean, double jointed elbows, which is always great. The knees can go up. And again, double jointed knees, which is to be expected. Ankle pivot, no toe hinge. Bicep swivel. You can see that is there. It's just a little tight. 
waist. Can look down. And he can look up. About that far. All right. So overall, I love this figure. I definitely think he will fit in my uh, DC display. Um, the only other thing that I really want to do now is I know they had that like McFarlane toys, like death metal motorcycle for Batman. I want to try to get my hands on, on that now and to see how he would ride on that motorcycle or maybe even get like some sort of like six, six, six inch scale, like skeleton horse or something like that from Mythic Legions. Uh, so you can see what he looks like on that. He looks like he'd be a badass on one of those. But again, or hell, maybe I'll put him on um, Ghost Rider's motorcycle and see how he looks on that. I do have that. So again, I'll be putting up some photos later on on my IG, which is a Magnet Podcast. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.